Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition where I've been having my game running for hours and then I totally got distracted. It's just been sitting here and I ate dinner and then I watched a bunch of YouTube videos because I'm a boomer millennial and uh, that's how I, how I do it for fun. Um, but only when I have service, which is not very often, so I don't feel too bad about it. Let's see, we were looking for the guy. <laughs> um... He's missing a um, Mahavid, which is under Reaper attack. Not like a crazy Reaper attack, there was only a couple. I think it's all just like part of the facade. No, I don't know. You'd think there'd be more. It was just like one party of big guys. And he's in the medical, that's right. He's in medical and we gotta find his room. Oh, oh he did. Is that Garneau? I hope not, or we've hit a dead end. <sighs> what? How could you tell he's dead? If you are looking for Garneau, you have found him. I am Dr. Garneau. Uh, I'm Commander Shepard. He's upset. He's, 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 he's taken over. Are you all right? Yes. Only I'm trapped in here. Uh... What's been going on in this place? I was doing my research. Until the incident. They attacked you. It's true. But aside from my confinement, I'm fine. I, no, I do not, I, uh, you sound way too calm about things, my guy. Bryson's research led me to you. Bryson sent you? He's dead, Doctor. Killed we by didn't have to tell him that. I see. I need you to tell me everything you found on the Leviathan. Bryson seemed to think it killed a Reaper. It's a myth. A dead end. Uh -huh. In your call to Bryson, you mentioned an artifact. I did? No. Yes, Doctor, you did. But now we've got Reaper forces attacking, so I need to break you out. We'll grab the artifact Dude, and kill. This is so bad. Reapers. The darkness must not be breathed. Yeah. The darkness? What? <laughs> It's so scary, I forgot that happened! You! You killed a Reaper. I need your help. You bring my death! <laughs> it's so scary, I hate it! Not sure why he's taking Garneau and running. Like, le the Leviathan. If this is the Leviathan. Whoops, okay. Um, is obviously just using, like, mental, some sort of mental control, right? It's not like the, has cut the power. It's not like the body needs to run. Like this body, it's human body. Days. Leave this place. Ooh, you're Wait. scary. We need to get to that artifact before he does. What artifact? He said it was in the mines. Oh, we'll need to find a different okay, okay. route. I'm like the artifact that's in the. I thought they were talking about the artifact in the in the in the lab in our lab back in the Citadel, because um, we had that one. But they're talking about a different one that that's apparently no, here. That's one. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. According to my map, store at the next tram station. Yee -hee. The only ones headed that way. <laughs> we are the only ones. <laughs> Where's mine? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm just kind of hoping they fall off. Oh, dang it. Whoa. What? Oh my gosh, I didn't even know that one was there. Ah! I have done a terrible thing. Please let me up. I feel like, okay, you know what? Let's just. There we go. Grenade! Beautiful. Granate! <clears throat> All right, so the creepy crawlies went up this wall, but where? How do I go anywhere? It's such intense music, and now I can't see a way up. Is there? Oh, I get to go around the spooky corner. Sick. Anyway, that was so scary. <laughs> the shaking screen too, like, missed me with that. 
Oh, I have, yeah. That should be good out here. Hey, you. Uh, thanks for waiting. Can I run up this way? Nope. I have to go down the gauntlet. Now! I don't have anybody for this. Don't know where that went. Oh, good. Watch our flank. There's so many. Do we just need to run? Is this one of those like you just need to run and hope for the best? I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of assume so, honestly, which is maybe dumb, but off we go. Ooh, that was cool. Door's power supply's been cut. The trouble spots are out there. We should send this repair drone. We'll need to ask. Too bad it. they're actually but apparently the useless. Damaged. Its power reserves are limited. Let's make it quick then. Too bad the drones are useless. Stay close to the and drone. And apparently, uh, Got it. can't do anything on their own, which is why you think you would have a drone, right? It's so. Commander, we still need to escort what do you drone. mean? I'm in this. Oh my gosh, it's slower than we are. Is that what the problem is? Mm, I was like, I'm in the drone area. That is just hilarious. At least the game waited to send the enemies. Where are they at? Right there? switched over to my please stop look at her doing that really hate it maybe I should actually switch back I'm switching back in the death pose. Are we allowed in now? That was so scary. I hate those. <laughs> yeah, I need some med kits and some grenades. Pistol cranial trauma system. Yeah, I need some of that too. That'll make me feel better. Nope. Okay. 200 XP, thanks game. <laughs> and trauma. 200 XP of trauma. The darkness cannot be breached. The artifact. Oh, so he's like using. He office. He's using the human to try to protect the artifact. Move. I got a shot.
This is what happens when you mess up unauthorized tech. Everybody dies. This is why I would, I mean, not why, this is why Xeno archaeology is like simultaneously like the scariest and coolest thing Commander, I can think of. Come with me. What have you got? Like, you'd find such crazy stuff, but you'd probably that die. It was not the one called Garno. This is. And he's been dead for a while. Oh. So Leviathan can have Bryson killed, can take over this colony, and he can use them as puppets. Huh. Anything else useful? Encrypted data. There is also a personal log with eight missed calls from someone named Dr. Anne Bryson. Anne Bryson? Who... Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm Commander Shepard. Are you alright? I think so. I feel like... I feel strange, but... Alright. Also, okay, Dr. Gano is probably in love with Anne Bryson, and uh, I feel like things are not gonna go well over there. Do you recognize this man? I've never seen him before in my life. Oh, they were already- Someone here killed They him. were already possessed. Someone here. How is that possible? I'm so sorry. They were already possessed and can't remember what happened. You tell me anything about what happened to Even you? Even before he got here. Not really. I, uh, remember... It just seemed cold. I remember a, a feeling... Cold and dark. If dark was a feeling, that's exactly what I felt. They've all been... I guess, because they, they brought up the Thorian data, right? And in, so it seems like it's probably the, the uh, well, see, if the Leviathan's been in control of this place for a while, right? And not just since the Reapers popped back out. Um, the Leviathan was potentially researching similar life forms to itself, like the Thorian, who does kind of use um, other sentient beings as like extensions of itself, as uh, what do you, biotic, a biotic, um, Extensions is the best I can come up with right now, but um So maybe it was looking yeah up something that's similar But we also know that the Reapers do similar things to it like this too as the Thorian and as apparently the Leviathan can do right Where you can like control via the brain <laughs> uh, Or via I guess I don't even I guess it's not probably not spores that artifact do you know where it came from? Came out of the mine. Right. Head office was supposed to send someone. That's about all I can. I guess it's not. It doesn't look strictly Prothean. So they're like, as you have to like rules, like you're supposed to report Prothean technology. And then the Citadel yoinks it. Um, for the good of everyone, so everybody can use it. Is the idea. Cortez, what's your situation? Can you bring the shuttle? Affirmative. Strangest thing. A couple of minutes ago, the Reaper forces broke off and left. Reaper? What's a Reaper? What? What year do you think this is? 2176. 2176 was 10 years ago. <gasps> what? arranged for these people to be evacuated into temporary quarantine. <sighs> That's a terrible thing you know. No memory of the last ten years. They'll have a lot of catching up to do. What do you mean? Like, they had to have, like, put messages out and stuff, otherwise people, like, obviously they were still a functioning facility, so they maybe just don't remember it. Down a reaper. And possesses the ability to indoctrinate. Could it be a reaper itself? If it is a Reaper, then I want to know what it's up to. How long has it been out here, and more importantly, why? Edie, did we get anything from Garno's notes? Yes. They suggest that Garno created a way to block the artifact's mind-affecting properties. Oh, uh, wow. The artifact seems to be the key. Well, we've got one. Agreed. When I head back to Bryson's office, I want you there. Yes, Commander. I want to know just what the hell these artifacts really are and what they can do. I should be bringing the Aura, too. They're powerful, whatever they are. And dangerous. 
And we've got one sitting right in the middle of the city. Uh, hey! I mean, I don't know. If, I mean, the artifact. I do think the artifact was probably. Yeah, yeah. Probably the source of the indoctrination, if it's anything like. I mean, any Reaper tech lying around is going to do that, which is why I'm upset that there was a sovereign arm in the Citadel, apparently, still. Upsetty spaghetti, I tell you what. Do I have. We'll have new mail. New mail. From Lee Riley. Oh, yeah, we saved her. Yeah. Uh, and her crew. She's like, she was like a mini Commander Shepard, except not mini, you know. She was like Commander Shepard, basically. But different. My squad continues to defend the fuel reactor on Sion. The Reapers seem intent on taking it down. Not on my watch. We will hold the line. So she's like Commander Shepard and, um, oh my gosh, who is that Salarian? Who's like, hold the line if they had a baby. Which is genetically impossible. Well, hmm, biologically impossible. <laughs> I don't know if you can make like a half human, half Salarian genetically potentially, in a test tube. Um, but we reproduced completely differently. Anyway, I liked her. She was cool. Also, like, I guess, I don't, I'm having art. Is this, like, the first two? And then are we, like, moving into the third one now? Because, like, I, I guess a part of, I do not, no, we're not. That's still, there. Mm, I think, no idea. Don't ask me. I don't know anything. Return to Bryson's lab. This might be the end of the second one. And I know the third one is cool because you get to go underwater. I think that's the third one. I know at some point you get to go underwater. Which you don't get to do in the space game very often. <laughs> Let me land. Uh, if I would be so mad if I clicked that. Dr. Bryson's lab. Yes. What a beautiful day in the Citadel. I don't know why it's telling me that right now. I'm sure everything's fine. Nope, we're doing the fish-eyed look. Things are not fine. We need to shield the artifact they've got here right away. Why didn't they do that prior? Using Garno's data, I should be able oh, to accomplish this without difficulty. That specific shielding. Also, what he found a way to block the mind control? He's been here the whole time. Why weren't we? Because we're already indoctrinated. The amount of time spent near the artifact is key. After a certain duration, it affords Leviathan an impressive mind control capability. Uh, a Leviathan is not an ally. Leviathan's being me, and has spent the last ten years doing experiments uh, on humans. It's or you know humanoids. I don't know if it was just humans. Um, but yeah, no, they've been doing, the Leviathan's been doing some whack-a-mole things. What was I thinking? I keep, I keep having this thought and I keep, I keep losing it about, the, oh, the mind control. If you can block the mind control, like, we could, like, extrapolate that onto, like, blocking the Reaper mind control stuff, you know? Because it does take time for Reapers to do it, too. Like, it doesn't, I don't think it's generally instantaneously it's an it's an overtime exposure thing or it's only instantaneous if you get tech embedded into you so because for the reapers anyway if they do it too i guess if they do it too fast it makes the host um break down faster <laughs> horrible i'd call it dangerous as hell bryson's assistant tried to kill me perhaps leviathan was controlling him to protect itself diverting people away from its trail yeah but that didn't work Maybe. It just shows we don't know what we're dealing with. It just with called yet. attention to it. Despite the risk, this artifact remains our only link to finding Leviathan. Perhaps we could find more information about it here in the lab. Agreed. <laughs> Bryson's team might have turned up something we missed. I'll look around. Edie's like, let me hold your hand through all of this. Search the lab for clues. I'm not going to click that thing. Energy emissions test by Derek. Initial test, artifact test negative for infrared and ultraviolet emissions, no gamma or X-ray radiation detected. Follow-up test, artifact does not react to application of various stimuli, internal readings inconclusive, no progress in determining age. I guess I stayed here all night finding out this thing really isn't that important. Fell asleep at the desk. Conclusion, artifact is definitely inner and safe. Recommend keeping it here for reference. We should all be near it. Maybe more useful than Leviathan in long run. Recommend we abandon hunt for Leviathan and seek more productive studies. Yep. It, he hung out with it all night, and it took over his brain. I think what's weird, though, is that the Leviathan seems to, like, kind of, like, let go and, like, 
sort of impose control and let go, which the Reapers have not done. So, like, people, like, like Derek, he was, like, and they had, like, this, like, memory loss, which we don't really seem to have for Reapers, I think, but mostly because the Reapers don't really let people go, you know what I mean? So, like, it seems like with the Leviathan, it's like, ooh, you have these blackout moments, so weird, you know, so quirky, and, uh, it's very different from how the Reapers operate. They were testing the artifact for energy emissions and found nothing. Still, I recommend leaving it shielded. Okay, why are you here? And it like smokes when you do it. It's so gross, I hate it. I'm trying to find it. Anything interesting about the artifact's structure? It is not constructed of the same compounds used in standard Reaper technology. Beyond that, nothing of relevance. Why is there a Krogan statue in there? Bryson's assistant Hadley. Do we have an update on his status? He is in a vegetative state. The doctors believe it is permanent. Ah, okay. But the miners recovered when the artifact was destroyed. Had they lost consciousness when he attempted to answer our questions about Leviathan? It may have been a deliberate attempt to silence him permanently. Yeah. I don't know, though. The, the miners were under control for a lot, much longer time. Is there anything? There wouldn't be anything out here. I'm watching you. I mean, it's just, it's just, it's not even shielded. It's just like a decorative art piece with energy flowing through it. Like, why? Oh, hello. Loch Ness monster. Oh, please. please see yeah. <laughs> Loch Ness monster's more interesting. <laughs> There's interesting two and non-existent. Uh, two different kinds of people. The two different genders. Oh my goodness. Edie, what project was Garneau working on when he found the artifact? Basilisk. Got anything on Basilisk? Several ships, a mythical creature, and a rare mid-tier enemy type in the Galaxy of Fantasy video game. Wow. It possesses a gaze attack capable of triggering synced animation kills. Player forms describe it as overpowered. I meant the project, Edie. She went down a hole. Oh. Then, no. She went down like There's a wiki leaf something dive. here on this artifact. What about the server? Bryson's assistant wiped the office server what? and destroyed all backups, likely before killing Bryson. Oh. However, records show new messages on Bryson's personal comm terminal upstairs. Could be worth a look. All that information ruined and gone because of one person. Years of information, potentially, or at least a lot of people's work. Um, also, not WikiLeaks, I meant she just went down like a wiki rabbit hole, kind of, but it's like as fast as like a supercomputer could do it, so that, that was what that little tangent about Basilisk was. A message from Dr. Bryson's daughter, Anne. According to my records, she worked with her father. Hello. She's probably doomed. I'm at the dig site in the Pylos Nebula. Project Scarab paid off. I've got another artifact like the one Garneau found. I think it could be affecting people's behavior. You need to shield the one in your office. I tried to warn Garno, but I can't get through. We've got Reaper scouts coming in toward the main site. I'm heading to the secondary base to grab what research I can. Anne Bryson was attempting to contact Garno on the asteroid colony. She seems to know something about the artifact. And she found another one by lucky random happenstance. But at least she knows about the shielding. She sounded worried. If Reaper forces were approaching, her concern was warranted. Let's hope we get to her before they do. She said she was in the Pylos Nebula, working for Project Scarab. That cluster contains several systems. I'll call up the nebula on the galaxy map. We may also search the lab for clues to narrow down her location. I am not sure why we play this little game. The little, um... Ooh, let's search for... Info... Game. The Reapers. Let's hope we find Anne before they do. Like, mm, let's get more data. Like, I don't know. It's funny. I don't mind. But it's like, it is just kind of funny. Aha, aha, I knew it. Can you identify this, Edie? It originates with a pre-spaceflight culture, but there are none recorded in the Pylos Nebula. Alas. Does anything in Anne Bryson's work history suggest where she might be? Nothing relevant. This is not being helpful, Edie. Edie could do this way faster than I can. 
Any idea if Project Scarab involved Element Zero? Unlikely. We may learn more from the Project Requisitions Locker. Then why don't you do it? Okay, so we're probably not going to do the creature sightings then. Who's that? Project Basilisk, Garnell. She's a ship. Anne Bryson flew out on a ship called the Icarus. Yeah, we could. Can you track its movements? Do that. No. The Reapers have disrupted civilian comm buoys. But we might learn more if we find the ship's specifications. Is it over here? There are specifications for several ships here. We need to find the Icarus. Okay. Which ship am I looking for again? The Icarus. Yeah, well, um. Do I. Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> I was like, how do you have to flip? The Icarus. Here we go. The ship has enhanced electrostatic discharge cells. They facilitate long-range FTL travel. So they jumped to the Pylos Nebula by mass relay, then flew to another system. Far. They flew far. Yes. Otherwise, they would have chartered a less expensive ship. Okay, we can rule out the relay system. Yes. Yeah. Access card. Any idea what it opens? The requisitions locker. <laughs> According to records, <laughs> it was last used by Anne Bryson to obtain equipment for Project Scanner. She's like, please go to the requisitions locker. And I'm like, Mmm, but what if I poke this this husk head again? Oh, I, I like I don't even know what a requisitions locker looks like. Let's see what Anne Bryson requisitioned for Project Scare. A dead body. Ooh. Need an environmental suit. Water recycling equipment. Based on what Anne Bryson did or did not requisition, the dig site was arid but habitable. Get me a filter for systems with compatible planets. Arid but habitable? Let's see. Based on the search data, it is one of these two systems. Based on the data, only one system remains viable. Yay, the super easy, barely Good. an inconvenience. Let's go get Ann Bryson. I keep feeling like I'm gonna get shot when I walk out here. Is there, is there like a cutscene that happens? Where somebody comes out and is like, oh, Shepard, we'll get you. And I'm like, you and the, the half the galaxy at this rate. Also, that stupid assassin guy attacked me while I was in one of these. I don't trust them. They're not safe. I feel like this had to be the, f the whole part had to be like the first bit. Okay, I just looked it up to be specific and apparently we are on Leviathan 2 find Anne Bryson and we have one other part of Leviathan 2 and then we will leave the last one until after Thessia which we will be doing here soon I believe that's probably the next big mission to do like the main priority mission but I need to make sure I might have to do some running around and like dropping things off before that depending on what I have because I don't remember anymore. <laughs> I know I ran around and picked up a bunch of stuff, and I'm, what annoys me about the game, one of the things, just a little thing, um, is that I have no idea. Like, it doesn't tell you, oh, yeah, you got it, now turn it in. You just got to remember? I don't know. I had to run through the Citadel and see. <laughs> oh, anyway, I am tired. Uh, so I'm probably going to record a little bit more, but I'm, I'm, I'm an EP kid. So I'm going to go for now. But thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons. First, I want to give a shout out to my Acorn Tier patron. Thank you so much, Fame, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to my Sapling Tier patron, Risco Lido. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron, who has truly gone above and beyond in his support of me and the channel. And I truly cannot thank you all enough. Um, so thank you all again. And I will see you in the next one.